Hello friends, this is Vinod and today we are going to discuss about myocardial action potential as you can see I have drawn the graph of myocardial action potential here and there are four phases in the action uh, in the curve this is, these are um, the phase 4 which is of uh, resting membrane potential or maximum diastolic potential also known as maximum diastolic potential the depolarizing phase, the phase 0, the fast repolarizing phase, phase 1, phase 2 is a plateau phase, phase 3 is the slow depolarization phase, and phase 4 is again the maximum diastolic potential or the resting membrane potential. Now, uh, at the resting membrane potential, when an uh, impulse comes, most commonly the impulse from so, sinusoidal node SN the impulse it uh, star opens the sodium channel here yeah, the sodium channels are open which increases the conductance of sodium channel and the sodium influx inside the myocardium it occurs this leads to positive membrane potential or the membrane depolarization it will uh, it will show the membrane potential will shoot above zero mm, and it will reach a positive membrane potential so the myocardium is depolarized now and it will start contracting and at this point it is around somewhere around plus 30 plus 30 um, the uh, sodium conductance sodium channels they uh, deactivate and potassium channels of transient type they open here yeah. potassium transient type they open leading to fast uh, repolarization of action potential now at phase 2 what happens is the long type calcium channels they uh, open Usually what happens when a stimulus uh, is given to a myocardium, both sodium channels and uh, calcium channels they open. But sodium channel is a fast channel, so it opens earlier and there is a very fast influx of uh, sodium. And the calcium channel is a long type, L type, it is a slow cha uh, channel, so it will open uh, later. So here, sodium channel, uh, calcium channel is open of L type plus delayed rectifier potassium channels open the influx of calcium is uh, here it is the calcium it, uh, influx is balanced here by the delayed type uh, rectifier channel potassium channels where potassium channel uh, efflux is occurring this leads to a plateau phase uh, and at somewhere at this point the calcium channels they close and this will lead to a repolarization of the phase 3 and then back again to the diastolic membrane potential maximum diastolic potential thank you